What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be reviewing the Pandora's Box DX on a four player arcade cabinet. Don't you ever disrespect me by going first. <laughs> Alright guys, I want to make this quick video here because I never really dealt with the Pandora Box DX. I'll tell you why I have this specific Pandora's Box. Um, usually, if you see my videos, I usually use the Pandora's Box 18S Pro, which just went out with the Sticker Bomb Mario Konami style cabinet. On this specific one, I had to use the Pandora's Box DX because of the four player arcade setup. I originally purchased the 18S Pro that I normally get and upon me plugging it in, it didn't work with four players. It was kind of a letdown. I even contacted the company and all that. It's kind of crazy. But again, on this one today, I'm gonna to give you my review of the Pandora's Box DX, uh, mostly towards four player arcade sticks. There's not really reviews or any videos really pertaining to four player arcade sticks with this Pandora's Box or any Pandora's Box. I've seen a lot of two player arcade sticks plus two like PlayStation style controllers or you know your generic USB controllers, but I never seen anybody post four player arcade sticks. So now real quick, you can take a look at the cabinet right now. This is the Bivic four player 55 inch arcade cabinet that I created. I'm so proud of it. I love everything about it. You'll see a lot more cabinets of this. This is basically gonna be my standard for all arcade designs. I posted a lot on the Facebook groups and on YouTube, and uh, I gotta give a big shout out to my boy Eric. Basically said, Vic, you gotta brand the hell out of this thing, and honestly, I think it's such a unique cabinet. It's so futuristic. I'm gonna be making a separate video based on just the cabinet alone. I wanna focus on the Pandora's Box DX on this one, but if you do recognize a cabinet and you go, whoa, shit, that is a, what cabinet is that? It came from your boy, Vic VP, Game Case Arcades. So now let me give you a quick background on this. So this is Alternate versus four player 55 inch build. Basically the customer has a, co a comic book shop. He's purchasing the cabinet and from what I'm gonna say is that he is gonna put it in his comic book shop. He did tell me, hey Vic, I wanna host like some local tournaments or just have people play on it. But he does want this to accept money. He wants it to accept quarters, which is fine. But he said maybe like on a special event, he'll swap it to free play. I said, great. Pandora's boxes are honestly great for commercial use. They're just so user-friendly. It's, it's very user-friendly. You don't need like a Raspberry Pi where you have to hotkey exit and save and load and you're going through 15,000 games. This right here is a pretty comfortable amount. There's 300 pages at 10. So there's, there's about, there's 3,000 games on this apparently. So it's enough games. There's a lot of games to this. So I personally never built a four player Pandora's box build and long story short, uh, I won't be using a Pandora's box for a four players. Uh, only because of this certain situation where the customer needs it to accept money. If you were gonna use this for home use and you set this to free play, it is a great machine, but it's missing a couple of bangers. Uh, I'll be honest, the biggest letdown on this was NBA Jam. It has NBA Jam, like the Super Nintendo version. It didn't have the arcade version. And automatically, once I saw that, I told the customer, I said, We're, I'm gonna have to put a Raspberry Pi in it. So he'll get more games out of it. It's not gonna be very user-friendly. That's the only thing I'm telling him. Basically though, the way he's gonna have it set up is that he'll, play, he'll have one static game, no game choice. He'll have one static game and then daily he'll swap out and such. So. Again, it's a plus and a minus. I personally love putting Pandora's boxes if you're telling me that you're gonna put it in a commercial space. Again, this is not my commercial space. A customer is purchasing the cabinet from me. Whatever they do with it is on them. That's not up to me, that's on that. So now, the way this really started, again, I ordered my regular, normal Pandora's box 18S Pro. That's what I, I get them all the time. I have a guy on eBay, I get them, Fairly quickly, Pandora's boxes though, even Raspberry Pis, like I said in my videos before, inflation is hitting, so pricing is going up. It's kind of insane, but I, I can't do anything about it. I can't complain about it. So, first, originally I got a Pandora's Box 18S Pro. I said I deal with these all the time. I did the control panel swap. I have it over there. Easy, right? Now, obviously I was smart enough. I actually, before I even disassembled it or even dissected it, I took the control panel from eBay, 
I plugged in two generic USB to arcade stick encoders that you could find like on Amazon. And I tested it. I said, let me test this out. Sure enough, what do you know? It didn't work. It was, it was, it was a bad, it was awful. It was an awful experience. So my Pandora's box, the ATS Pro has two USB ports. And I even contacted the eBay seller and I knew I was dealing with, I, I like laughed at it and I was like, what? I contacted the eBay seller because I noticed that out of the two USB ports, only one was bringing power to my encoder because the encoder has the LED on it, obviously. So I was like, all right, three players, cool. Let's I could at least test that. Three players didn't work on it. I then messaged the seller, I said, hey, listen, I have two USB ports, one of them doesn't work, can we replace it? And the seller goes, no, the USB port is not for a controller, it's for video out. And I was like, what? <laughs> video out on a USB? And he was like, yeah, you know, you could do USB to HDMI. And I was like, that's when I was like, I, I gave up, I was like, okay. That don't make any sense at all to me. So I automatically knew the 18S Pro was out. It's out of the question. Doing some research, watching like Retro Ralph, he showed off the Pandora's Box DX, but he showed it off with two arcade sticks and two, I think he had Sega Genesis controllers. And I'm like, all right, if it's a USB controller and at least I could visually see the Pandora's Box is accepting two more controllers, I said, let me give it a shot. Went on eBay, found a separate one, honestly, it came from China. And holy, it, the, the amount of time this thing took to ship to me, god damn. This cabinet, if you see like when I originally was making my cabinet, I have like a, a short. Compare that to now. That is a long time and I feel really bad for the customer. I told him, you know, I'm just waiting on the Pandora's box. Pandora's box, I ordered it on April 30th. It is now May 18 or 17. Oh my god, no, it's May 22. I, I can't believe the, the how long it took just to get this. So the one I got, it is a Pandora's Box DX. It came with a family harness. It even came with like six arcade buttons and two joysticks, but I already bought my sticks and stuff from Groovy Game Gear, so I didn't need it. But hey, for the price, it was a hundred bucks. I was like, I'll take the extra buttons. Why not? I could always use it. Finally, literally yesterday it came in. I contacted the customer. I said, dude, the Pandora's Box is in. I'm wiring this thing up today. I'm going to get it working. Wired it all up, put it on, tested it, and ah, I got a couple of headaches going on. So off the bat, the first thing I did, booted it up, and it, it was set to free play. That's how these are always, they always come to you set to free play. I said, cool, let me load up The Simpsons. And honestly, with this specific Pandora's Box DX, what I like about it is that it does have a very nice, like, category system. You could pick like three player, four player. I saw that, I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be amazing. For this customer, he'll be able to go and pick. I thought it was gonna be amazing, so awesome. I went, I picked The Simpsons, and sure enough, everything worked. I could press start on player four, it brought up uh, Lisa. I could press player two, it was Homer. It worked, it was awesome, great. I then exited out, I set it to coin play, and that is when basically all hell broke loose. So right now I have the machine set to, to, to coin play. Um, you could navigate the game without the coin, which I believe there's a setting I could change that, which I usually don't like somebody playing around with it without the coin, but I can't pick the game unless I actually insert a coin. And we do have a coin door on this, the coin door does work, so I could always insert coins. Awesome, right? I'm now gonna pick The Simpsons. And this now unfortunately is where it fails. Again, in this certain situation, if you are looking for it to accept money from your friends and all that, this wasn't the solution that it, it, it worked great on four play, uh, on uh, free play. It, it definitely works great. So right now, as you can see, we have Marge. I even put four quarters in, right? But I can't I'll wait for this to go through. So for me now to like push player two, player three, Player four, I can't do anything. I can't even put the coins in. If I keep inserting coins on player one, it's basically adding coins from Marge. And again, right now, it is deemed useless. I can't do anything. I, I, can't, I can't play anything right now. I can only play one player. That's all I could do. Not to mention, no, I'm just getting beaten up. I, I, I can only play one player. So, that sucks. 
Number one, long press player one start. I'm able to exit. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's just the Simpsons. Let me now try out like TMNT. Um, same thing. It, it didn't work. If I do TMNT, uh, Turtles, what is that? I think that's Turtles in Time. We'll launch it real quick. And uh, sadly, it, it, it and what's kind of crazy also is that I have player two coin mapped. And it's not recognizing player. So as you can see now, I'm going to put coins in. I'm adding coins to player one, but player three, four, I can't even press start on any of these. Not even pushing regular arcade button, I'm stuck. It's, it's, I mean, those are two iconic games. Right now, it doesn't work on coin play. Let's try one more just for kicks, uh, but automatically, I can already tell it's, it's not going to work out for me. Let's try, uh, uh, I am under the three and four player wheel. Let's see. Um, and it's cool because it says four players. That's awesome. Let's load up X-Men. Let's see what happens. Again, that was like, I saw that and I was like, I thought my wire, I, I, I went, I opened up the panel. I'm like, maybe there's something wrong with my wiring. No, it's just like, whatever setting they put inside of this, you, you can't change it. And the other thing is that you can't even go into, you can't even put a keyboard and push tab on it. That's what kind of annoys the hell out of me. So I don't know what emulator is running on it, but you can't put a, a keyboard to it. You can't change it. So like right now, I got the coins in. My player one life, nothing, nothing at all. I can only play one player on, on like the paid style. You know what I mean? And again, the Pandora's box is beautiful for commercial use, but it's only for the four player games. And there's quite a handful of, there's, there's a lot of four player games, which is very cool. But if you don't let it accept money, it's, for right now, the customer, I wrote to him, he's like, yeah, Vic, nope, that ain't gonna fly, I don't want it. I was like, oh crap. So I'm gonna have to put a Raspberry Pi in it. All right guys, so just real quick, we're gonna jump in here. I don't know exactly what point of the video I'm gonna add this. This right now, I'm taking this video about maybe four or five days after I shot this Pandora's Box video. And uh, after doing some research and talking to the customer and all that, I really didn't wanna give up on the Pandora's Box. But I came to realize that when it comes to coin up mode four player games, there's actually about five or six games that will not work in coin up mode. And unfortunately, they are big hit titles. They include The Simpsons, both TMNTs, X-Men, uh, I believe it was called Captain Commando, and like one more game. And unfortunately, it just will not work in coin up mode. The other four player games do work. Uh, for example, like Sunset Riders and uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, they do work. Basically, again, in coin op mode, it's only player one coin that is getting registered. And uh, in those games, for example, like Sunset Riders, you could put 20 quarters in player one, but you could still press start on player three and player four. I basically kind of thought of it as all the Konami games. No, I can't say all of it, but I mean, again, Simpsons and TMNT is Konami. Those games accordingly is mapped to the actual player coin. So it's not like you could put 20 quarters in player one and play it like you see in my video. Um, I even went to the extent because I didn't want to give up on it. I actually took the SD card out of the Pandora's box and I put it into the computer and I was like, you know what? Maybe I could play around with the config file. I know MAME, I know how it is. I loaded it up and unfortunately they did, the Pandora's box people did it on a Linux based MAME setup. So when I looked at the config file, it was just a whole bunch of scrambled characters, not even letters, just characters. So I didn't really want to play around with it. I didn't want to mess up something because I pulled out the Pandora's box. I will be selling it to somebody, another customer that saw my little ad on Facebook. So I will be selling that off. I didn't want to touch it. But as you can see, I did swap it out and I did put a Raspberry Pi in it. So 15,000 games on this. And again, the four players do work. So on that note again, I don't know when I'm gonna put this little kind of snippet in, but we'll go back to the original video. We'll see the official release video on this soon. So now real quick, if I go into the settings here, and again, if I change it to free play, we're gonna back out. We're gonna save. If I set this to free play now, we're gonna go to The Simpsons. 
do, 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 do. If I could find it, that'd be great. I must have passed it. <laughs> Hook. Right, there we go. If I launch the Simpsons in free play, it works beautifully. They basically have it mapped where the start button is also the coin button. And like that's that's perfect. It's it's beautiful. I So player one, right? I got Bart. I got Homer. I got Lisa. And we're ready to play. So again, it's only for four players. If you are looking to put this four player setup to accept money, the four player games is a it's a it's a letdown. It's kind of tough but also discovering like you know it doesn't have all the games the biggest one was nba jam i mean a cabinet like this you need nba jam not the the the, the nintendo version you need the real arcade version so it's kind of a blessing in disguise to show the customer and as you can see like i said i'm able to play four players awesome if it's set to free play i'm able to play it awesome same thing when it came to like TMNT, uh, I haven't tried X-Men, so I'll do that on camera real quick. We'll see how that goes, but I'm very sure it will work. So again, it is a great system. It's missing a couple of bangers. Again, biggest one for me was NBA Jam. And I'll launch NBA Jam. You'll see it's the Super Nintendo version, but uh, it's a hit or miss. I would definitely suggest this system for home use free play. Commercial wise, again, it's really all revolved around this whole four player accepting money side of it. So player three, player two, and player four. I'm in. I'm able to game. That's how it is. That's, that's it. It's awesome. But unfortunately, I said, when it's set to money play, the other thing also when it came to this Pandora's Box DX, setting up player three and four was a pain in the ass. You have to like, I went through the setting. It took me about an hour just to go through the settings and test it. They basically have like four game pads. I had to only activate two of them. It was like, again, it was, it was a little bit finicky. The big thing though that I do like is that there is no duplicates on this, which is really great. I mean, not to mention the nice categories and stuff. It's awesome. Once the game boots up, it does go right into your fighters. Again, it's, I like it. It's just, you know, when you're looking up, let's say if I go to search and I want to do some NBA Jam. I'm going to have to actually put the word Jam in. See, I have NBA Jam Tournament Edition and NBA Jam Go. Let me just make sure if I put the space. No space. Don't put the space. If I go to NBA Jam, I'll press OK. Again, we got the video on it. Awesome. But I knew off the bat, once this thing loaded, it was the Super Nintendo version because of that. Whether that's, yeah, that's gotta be Super Nintendo. That's not, that's not the Genesis because then the Sega logo would show up, but it's honestly not the same. NBA Jam on the console, it's a great port, but it's not, it's not arcade. It's, this isn't it. This, this is not what we want. And uh, not to mention it's... You can't do four players, obviously. It's Super Nintendo. I mean, sad. Uh, it's a, a little... So what does that mean now? I gotta basically dissect this. I'm probably gonna make another cabinet and I'll just make it for a Pandora's Box DX or I'm just gonna probably put the Pandora's Box up for sale. No real need for me to kind of return it. Uh, I'll find use of it. But again, as far as the Pandora's Box DX, my opinions on it, it's awesome. It's a great system. It's just compared to my bootleg, and again, I use the bootleg ones, the 18S Pro, this one doesn't even have Blitz, which again, on my 18S Pro is the N64 version, but this doesn't have Blitz. Hit or miss, uh, let's see, does this have Killer Instinct on it? I doubt it. Oh, it does. We have two versions of it, though. 
one and two. So guys, let's see what one looks like. This is mostly gonna be the Super Nintendo port. But like I said, once I mentioned the customer, I said, dude, uh, it works, but no, this is not the arcade port, definitely not. Yeah, this is definitely Super Nintendo. Let's see what the other one is. And again, this is the legit, this is the legit Pandora's box. Meaning this is the one by 3A. Or A3, whatever it is. Killer. We're gonna, oh crap, that's another thing. If you don't press the okay button, you basically lost your whole search, which is kind of rough. So I'm gonna press okay. We're gonna go with number four. Let's see what number four loads up. And the last thing I'll show you, which was I, I was also upset about, um, it's the same version. So waste of time. So there's a duplicate. The other thing I was upset about was, and it's, it's, what's the word I wanna use? We all know Pac-Man, right? Oh shit. So let's go load up some Pac-Man. So there's four, but on this board, it's really Puck-Man, which I get it. Yes, if you are a real arcade enthusiast, yes, it is technically Puck-Man. But when I did Puck-Man, the video, the video, like, Compared the video here compared to the actual game wasn't right. So I'm gonna do Puckman Plus. And again, this does have a dedicated four-way on it, so obviously use dedicated four-way for this specific instance. And let's see how this runs. Same thing with Galaga. Galaga didn't have any official Galaga video footage. It was all like it was all like crazy weird stuff. But this one, as you can see, this is the real Pac-Man, this is the, you know, not Mrs. Pac-Man, but it works, awesome. Again, though, like, doing Galaga, if I search Galaga, all the video previews are not even Galaga. So, I mean, again, if you're the type that's gonna look at the video, this is gonna be a hard one. So you can see Galaga, like, you see that? I don't know if you can see that on camera. Like, there's like four ships here, not to mention there's like bugs and stuff. Uh, Galaga Fast Shoot, that's a real one, but that's like Fast Shoot, I guess. Galaga 3, another bug one. Galaga 88. I want to play like regular Galaga. So, you could see that, like me personally, if I was a customer and I saw the video on that, I'm like, that's not Galaga. But, if I launch this, it does actually launch Galaga. So, the videos on it are also not correct. Uh, again, up in the air, it's a plus and a minus type of setup. Again, dedicated four-way with the three buttons here. And as you can see, this is Galaga. So awesome stuff. It's just... The video preview was, was, not, was not correct. That was the only thing, really. So in conclusion on this one, if you are looking for a Pandos Box DX, hit me up. I might have it. I will be selling it or I will be making its own dedicated cabinet. I'll probably put it up for, you know, on Facebook Marketplace and stuff. Um, I don't throw these things out. Obviously, I could always use them. But final verdict, I like the categories. Like, that is honestly a major plus. Just to have, like, all the three, four-player games in a category is a... That's, like, awesome. That alone is awesome. Not to mention, again, arcade sticks. It is awesome. Aside from that, it's a miss. I'm sorry, it is a miss. I would rather deal with the bootlegs, my 18S Pro. Um, and again, aside from the money stuff. Money stuff for regular two player works, but when it came to four player, it was a miss. So again, uh, you know, I messaged, the the, the, I messaged the customer and he goes, Vic, it's not gonna fly, especially like no NBA Jam. It wasn't gonna fly, so we're gonna. I'm gonna swap this out now. I literally have to basically rewire the entire cabinet, which is fine. I don't mind it. I'm not complaining about that, but I have to rewire it. It's gotta come out. Well, there you guys have it. The Pandora's Box DX. It does work on four arcade sticks.
if you want to get a video, if you want to get a conclusion out of it, it does work. Takes some time getting it to work though. I'll be brutally honest. You can't even configure, like you can't even go into the input settings and change the button mapping. I'm telling you, it took me an hour. That was brutal. Uh, but yeah, there you guys have it. The Pandora's Box DX is coming out of this. And we're going to put in 15,000 games on this now.